Here we are today down at Hopkins Saddlery and I'm in a sole key, a bit out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. So we're gonna have a little talk with Colin shortly about the difference in weight with drivers and the equipment used, the sole keys. So, you know, and then hoping, gonna do a few laps around the uh, shop as well. So can you give us a little rundown? What exactly is this that we're actually looking at for those who don't know? Well, this is your, this is your standard race cart as of today. Um, Got your weights, sizes, it's all pretty straightforward, really. Horse at that end, driver at this end. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, th I thought we had the people <laughs> running around on that end. Oh, my well, bad. Well, you know what? You could, could be a bit of a laugh. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll get Max in to do that later. What do you reckon? <laughs> well, I think we might get him to do a couple of laps. Definitely. See who's quicker, him or Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Have them going straight down the middle yeah. of the store. <laughs> she hates line us right. on the good straight day. Straight line racing, yep. beautiful. So, Something I've been asked a few times is what, ha like, we've got all these drivers and we've got, you know, quite variations in their weight and heights. What sort of a difference does that make on a bike like this? Not a lot, um, to be perfectly honest. Um, with, with the uplift you get, the, the weight is actually off the horse's back anyway, as he's going. Uh, the driver, it's down to talent and the ability at that end. Yeah. I'm I'm a lot a heavier. Big believer in that. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm a lot heavier than Danny. Uh, most of them out there today, Kenny. Um, however, me driving a race, they're about ten lengths better. But that's yep. nothing to do with weight. That's everything to do with the skill building. and Absolutely. the combination, skill yep. and yep. horse combo. That's Absolutely. going on. Absolutely, and, yep. and that's what it comes down to, really. What's up that end is very important. Yep. What's at this end is also That's important. why Max does no good. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you, you have got, once you get up to, to, to your better classes and just standard racing, obviously a wider driver, there is a bit more drag, but yep. then we said that with the colors as well. If we, yep. if we want to cut drag, why have we got parachute colors on? Yeah. So, you know, it's, it, it, it is minimal, the difference. Yep. And what about other things, say, for instance, the, the wheels that you're using, like with the setups of them, does that contribute to everything yeah, that's going on? Yeah, again, can do, depending on the track, again. Yeah. Um, if you've got a wet track where your skinny wheels will sink, well then your wider profile tyres are the better way to go. Um, they haven't really used the wider profile tyres for a while, but you still, there are still drivers out there with them. Yep. Is that more because the conditions of our tracks, even between a wet track and a the tracks dry are, track, the, the tracks are consistent? better over the, definitely over the years. Yeah, for sure. Um, but if if you do, if it is a bit boggy, the wider tire will sit higher on the yep. on on the track as opposed to the skinnier one, which will go in. The difference, it's about a quarter of a second. Well, really, but a quarter of a second can sometimes make the difference. Well, if <laughs> these horses are travelling something like. 13 metres a second, so a quarter of a second, that's a fair difference, it's nearly yeah. body length. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, and so, what would approximately, um, say, a sulky like this one weigh on its own, without the driver on it? Yeah, standard sulkies go these days from anywhere between 18 to 28 kilos, which is a lot heavier than what they used to be. Um, okay, your, your, so your why regals. have they gone for a heavier um, sulky nowadays? Well, they're, they're going on the motion theory. Okay. Up and running and it, and it moves. And again, it's not really the weight that the horse is pulling. Right. If that makes any sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the weight of the sulky really doesn't, doesn't matter that much. You okay. Know, going, going back in the 90s, they were still running fast times. Yeah. With the sulkies that are probably 10 kilos lighter than these. That's actually, that's quite amazing. I wouldn't mm. have thought that myself. So it's, you know, but the, 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 the point is, it's not a lot of difference. No, no, ultimately, yeah. no. No, but once you add up, you know, the weight of the sulky and your variation of your driver from, you know, maybe a, a 50, 60 kilo driver to a 95 kilo driver. Yeah. Um, still, at the end of the day, if we've got a good horse at the front, we should still be uh, putting yeah. our bet on that one to take us home. If you've got Black Safaga up front, he's going to win in a Royal Speed. <laughs> With me driving. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, it's, that's, that's, yeah, but obviously he's, he, you know, you're not going to, the racing's close, the horses are close, the classing's 
close. Yeah. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. But um, it's just, it's another one of those areas that, you know, a lot of people don't, they don't understand that. They don't, um, you know, if they're not involved in the industry, it's just those little questions, you know, a lot of people ask us all the time. So. Well, yeah, you get your jockeys, I mean, and, and they go on weight and wait, 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 but the weight's on the back of the horse. That's right. Whereas with the harness, it's you're pulling from behind. Yeah, that's so, right. So, yeah, so it whatever, is. Whatever lift, whatever lift they've got, and the new sulkies have got a better lift to them than, than the older ones. Yep. That, there is no doubt of that. But, yeah. No, well, that's one of Thank you so much for your time today and I hope we'll be able to catch up again soon about some more odds and ends that you <laughs> yeah. guys uh, make and produce down here at Hopkins. No, nah, no dramas. <laughs> All right, thank you. And back to you boys in the studio.